I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Francesco Storace. He is CEO at Anel Group. Francesco, wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. It's a big pleasure to be back here. I'm really looking forward to talk to you and you know, it's, it's a great feeling to, to come back. Well, I'm very glad to have you here in person and you're actually in New York City for Climate Week. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, this is a typical end. You know, moments where uh, people gather to discuss a lot of things and, and in this case climate is uh, really important so we've had a lot of meetings during these days uh, a lot of interesting discussions with important people and I, the momentum is picking up again speed so it's uh, I think it's very very appropriate that this gathering takes place right now. Great. Well, I'm glad to have you down here. So love to talk to you. Now, let me ask you, given the unstable geopolitical scenario, what do you think could be a possible solution to the energy price increases? Well, I think there are two moments that you have to, to see. One is a short, short term. So what about next winter in Europe? And then there's a longer trend. What, what they have in common is that we now understand more clearly with a lot of, under, of you know, let's say physical impact, what it means to be so dependent on one fossil fuel substance that is gas in this case. So what can we do now is first of all survive the winter, so reduce the consumption, be more efficient, lower the temperature, you know, do all these things that will cross the winter for, for Europe. And I think that's more or less possible. But on the longer term, uh, there are things that can be done that were already underway, but they need to be accelerated. That is, stop burning this precious substance for genetic electricity, stop burning this precious substance to heat our homes and offices. There are better ways, cheaper way, more environmentally friendly ways of doing that with the existing technology. So this crisis will mark an acceleration of a trend that was already underway. And I think a few years from now, we'll go back and say, oh, when was it? that all this happened and it's now. Okay. All right, so the U.S. has been raising interest rates to combat inflation. Yeah. So tell me, how do you think this is affecting the energy sector and investors? I think the hiking of rates was expected in many ways. It will be followed by other parts of the world. Typically when this happens, you start to see a more discriminating attitude from the investors what are the real investments where I want to put my money, what is the risk? And the higher rates clearly separate the good, the not so good and the bad ideas <laughs> in a more clear way. So I think the net result will not be a slowdown of the investment cycle, but rather a more focused investment cycles on things that make more sense. So, and that, that's my view. Okay, and what do you think needs to happen for the world to achieve net zero? Many, many things, obviously. <laughs> One of them, accelerate the investment cycle, obviously. But I think we have a combination of two things that need to really take place. One is the urgent phasing out of the wasted money that we're putting into subsidizing fossil fuels. We're talking about 21, 700 billion dollars. That's the AIA estimation, which was doubling the 2020 number, so it's crazy. And the second is having a behavior change, not just us as individuals, but the industry has to understand how precious and important is the energy we're consuming and the impact it has on, on the planet. So if these two things combine and make sense economically, which is what today is the case, then this can be accelerated and we might have a solution. Okay. All right, well, Francesco, thank you so much for coming down and joining me at the NYSE to be on Floor Talk. It's always wonderful to talk with you. It's been a pleasure and I look forward to another opportunity. Same. Thank you.